Hi, rich friend. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Vanessa. And today we have a really exciting thing to talk about because we're talking about businesses that women like us can start right now with not a lot of money in the bank. You might be someone who's at a point in your life where you want to start a business, but you're not quite sure what kind of business to start. You just need a couple of ideas, a couple of pointers, and that's exactly why I'm making this video. Today, I'm going to share 10 ideas. So it's a robust video. So if the first one doesn't work for you, the ninth one might. So get your pen out, take notes, watch this video up to the very end. And I hope you don't just watch it, but you actually start taking steps to start your business. If this is the kind of content that you enjoy, then please go ahead and hit the like button. It helps this video go out to more people like you, like us. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Number one is to start a self-care subscription service business. Now, a lot of us have started getting conscious of self-care. There's even a thing like self-care Sunday now where we get on our robes and our eye masks and our candles, but not a lot of us have the time to go out into stores to pick out these things individually for our Sunday routines or our Sunday rituals. And because it's becoming a part of the culture, we're beginning to see a gap in the need for products to meet this need. And you could be the gap closer. You could start a business where you put together a box of items. It could be bath bombs, face masks, reusable face masks, skincare, whatever it is you think would be nice in a self-care box. And you could send it out to your clients maybe four times a year or monthly or however long you think you would be able to sustain. Subscription service businesses are really popular right now and a lot of people who are in this business model are making a lot of money because it's a recurring business model which means that when a customer signs up the first time they stay on for months or even years if your product is great. Number two is to start a PR company. Because we are starting businesses at a rapid rate right now our voices need to be heard. A lot of people have businesses that nobody knows about because news outlets aren't really telling our stories as much as they're telling everyone else's story. So you could be the person who closes this gap by setting up a PR company. Number three is to start a hair tool subscription business. Now this is so, so in demand because black women are constantly looking for hair care products because a lot of us have decided to go natural, to have protective styles. And that's why businesses in this niche do really well. There's a YouTuber that I watch. I don't, I think her name is Joy and she has a business called Joyful Bee and she only started it. And in her first year, she hit six figures. I think she's probably in her early twenties and she's already built a six figure business off of a YouTube channel. So I think there's so much of a gap here. Women are constantly looking for things like a good bonnet, combs that won't break out your hair and other tools like that. So if you can fill that gap, then there's definitely room for you to grow thrive and be successful. Number four is to start a skincare line that caters to melanin skin. And I can promise you, you're going to do well because a good example of this is black girl sunscreen. I open people's Instagram stories and I just see black girl sunscreen everywhere. Like everyone's using it because for a very long time, SPF and sunscreen products have not really necessarily catered to our own needs. So if you're able to come up with a product that would meet the needs of black melanin chocolate skin specifically, then you have a gold mine on your hand. Number five is to start a food delivery service. I know there's Uber Eats and DoorDash and all these popular ones, but you could start a local one in your city that delivers soul food or African food or food that caters to a specific niche because a lot of those restaurants are usually not an Uber, especially the best ones. So if you're able to close that gap, you might have some customers on your hands. Number six is to start a social media agency. If you're good with social media, you've been able to grow an Instagram account or you've been able to grow a YouTube channel 
or a Twitter account, you can start doing this for other people. And the great part is you don't even have to be the one delivering the service. You can hire someone on Fiverr or Upwork to deliver the service and you just do the branding and the marketing, secure the clients and get paid. Number seven is to start an adult education company. I run an adult education company. Every on demand runs an adult education company. You could be teaching about business. You could be teaching about branding. Whatever it is your expertise is, there's always someone who wants to learn what you know. So now is a great time to get into that market. Number Number eight is to start a social impact business around something you're passionate about. A really good example of this is Mother Honestly. Um, it's a community for mothers who are just trying to get ahead in life and at home. You could be passionate about something else and you could turn that passion into profit by starting a business that has social impact. Number nine is to start a hair care brand for babies and children. Now we know black hair is different from everyone else's hair and if you look on YouTube some of the most popular hair care videos are actually for babies. And it's no surprise why, because a lot of mothers are looking for what works for a baby's hair, what is not intrusive, what is healthy, what is safe. And you could be the one who produces that product that's baby friendly, that's safe and healthy for black baby hair. And number 10 is to start a YouTube channel. I know a lot of people don't know that YouTube is a business and the business model is is that you create content and you monetize that content through ads from AdSense or through sponsorships by talking about other people's products on your channel and getting paid to do that. And people have built five, six, seven figure businesses off of YouTube and you could be one of those people. If you're thinking it's too late to start a YouTube channel, it's absolutely not. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, don't forget to give it a like, share it with your friends and remember that I love you very much and you can do absolutely anything. Until next time, take care.